This week on Luke and Sarah's Off Grid Life, Sarah's back from hospital! I finish the rocking chair. The love chair. And I also sort out the inside of the goat house, just so it's a bit more organized. Hi, I'm Luke. And I'm Sarah. And this is Molly. And this is Timmy. And for three years now, we've been living off-grid in central Portugal. We bought a huge piece of land with a few ruins to restore, including an ancient water mill down by this amazing river, with loads of boulders scattered all over the land. Subscribe to follow our journey as we navigate the ins and outs of off-grid living. <laughs> Hey guys, Hi. welcome to our channel. Welcome to our channel. Sarah's back. I'm back. And <laughs> still in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> yep, still good. <laughs> Recovering so slowly. <laughs> what shall we talk about first? Shall um, we? I think we should talk about this Fair baby enough. that we're sitting on. So last episode, I, I tried to build a rocking chair out of one tree, but it ended up being super skinny because I only had one tree and it wasn't a huge tree. So I took my parents' advice and decided to make a few chunky planks, chunky boards from, I think I used about a third, a quarter to a third of another tree, which I chopped down just over here. And now I like it. I, have, I wouldn't change a thing about it. So I'm really, really happy about it. I get down. <laughs> okay, hold it there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mummy, wow. This is perfect for Molly and Mommy. Just little kisses. Alright, blow top. The love chair. The love chair. The love chair. So I'm pretty much ready now. So I'm going to oil it. Now I know. Um, you can use linseed oil, walnut oil, many oils, but I try to do things without spending any money. So I've, I did find something online about using olive oil. Now I know olive oil goes bad, it goes off. This is with olive oil and lemon juice. So it's three parts olive oil to two parts lemon juice. 
What's good is if I have any left, I can have a nice salad dressing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give it a go. The olive oil, we have excess this year. We didn't buy it. Um, a friend gave us some, actually, and a neighbor. And we do have a lot. So instead of spending money on buying expensive linseed oil, I'm going to try this out. Okay, Molly, down so I can start painting. Ugh. Everything Luke makes looks like a cut. <laughs> awesome, no? Mm Guys, the chair isn't even completely finished yet, and you're already around it. You're not allowed on it. Okay? Molly loves the love seat. <laughs> I do want to take this opportunity and thank all the nice comments that we've been getting over the the last video with the rocking chair and it got me thinking well I had been thinking it already but uh, maybe there's a small business venture in here for us so I was thinking about it I'm think my idea is to offer a service of if you have a dead tree or a, a live tree that you want to get rid of that isn't over your house or anything because I'm not a professional tree feller or arborist um, and you want to turn it into outdoor furniture I could come who is that I could come to your land dead tree live tree whatever and turn it into something while Sarah was away I definitely kept busy I mean this I finished while the day before she went into hospital but I've also been playing around with I'll show you the mushroom stool. The mushroom stool. Some mushroom stools. We did do a, a short about this last Tuesday. They're pretty comfortable. Very comfortable. Uh -huh. So yeah, I think I'll... Uh, I don't know if people would be interested or not, but... Well, we've already can, had some inquiries, I can so. sell these, yeah. 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 So, for people in the area, don't we have to see how they are after a couple of months or no? Yeah, with the, with the green wood, like this rocking chair, I did want to wait about five or six months just to see if there's any cracking or any warping. I don't think there should be any warping, just because it's all nailed and tight. Um, there may be some cracking, but I did drill the holes. I didn't just knock the nails in. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But with dead wood, it'll be fine for sure. So if you have yeah. a, a yeah. dead tree, maybe in an inaccessible area of your land, instead of having a dead tree there, or you having to chop it up for firewood and carry it back to your homestead, I could come and I can whip up something like this in a day, if I start early and finish late, I guess, <laughs> and turn it into some cool outdoor furniture like this rocking chair and leave it where the tree was, if there's a nice view anyway. <laughs> you exactly. know but if there's yeah. some really dodgy places and you've got this old tree there i could come turn it into a big rocking chair and you can leave it up there for when you walk up there whatever um this is still early days i am tomorrow i'm gonna go down i found an old oak tree down on the other side of our land which is completely dead and has been for many years but it doesn't seem to be insect infested so I'm going to try that out. I've also been practicing a bit with the olive wood as well. So I have different types of trees, different types of lumber. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And, and how much like would this... you pay for a mushroom? <laughs> and if you like this, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> so I kept myself pretty busy while Sarah was gone. Um, 
didn't do much dishes till she came surprisingly came back <laughs> early <laughs> but then when since she's been back obviously i've been a carer yeah which is fun but I'm getting better, I'm getting to do things by myself as well. You don't need to, not yet. <laughs> but I She's am. so hard-headed, she <laughs> still wants to do this, she wants to do that. <laughs> okay, let's not fight on camera, Luke. <laughs> I will tell you a little bit about my hospital experience, so over to me on another part of the land. Molly spent the first day of me in hospital crying for me. What a baby, are you crying for me? She was so sad. And then Luke had to go out for something and said it's better if he left her here. So he left her in the caravan and when he came back, all she wanted to do was check in the car and she checked underneath the seat to see if I was there. Oh, you're so cute. And I wasn't there, Molly. I wasn't. Oh, Molly. You don't have the daddy to be happy without mommy. <laughs> Molly, where's mommy? Oh, it's only been one hour. What are you going to be like in four days? <laughs> mommy, where's mommy? Oh, no. Oh, no. My... Oh, okay, you're upset. I'm going to leave you alone, okay? She's not here, Poppy. Come and see. Check for yourself. She hasn't been in the car. She's not here. No, mummy. Come. She's not under the seat, don't worry. You're checking under the seat, Poppy. She's not there. I'm sorry, Molly. It's gonna be another few days. Come on, out. The hospital experience was really good. I went in a day before and um, they kept an eye on me and uh, they gave me a bed and, uh, and a, a cupboard to keep my things in and then they tried to speak to me in english if they knew how they were, they were really they were really accommodating and then the next day i had my operation and the day after i was here time has come to take out meat i have my tubes ready so not long now i'm gonna have a shower they told me to shower with this only this and then i'm gonna put on these sexy tights and this super sexy dress i can only eat liquidy foods luke's been making me soups and have been delicious he made me carrot soup and a chicken soup this morning i had soggy cereal which isn't amazing but it went down i needed to drink a bit of water with it but it went down and this afternoon, I had Luke made me scrambled eggs, which really went down a treat. So I am going to start eating solid food soon enough, I think. But I'm, I am struggling a little bit with it for now. These are my stitches. This is, this is two days old. It looks really good, eh? I'm all wrapped up, not because it's freezing, because I'm still in my pyjama. And I'm not going to change just for this video. Um, because I'm taking it easy. I was told to rest a lot and not do too too much physical work. Luke's been doing everything, washing the dishes and cooking and cleaning and taking care of the goats and the chickens and the guinea fowl and building stuff. So he's been really, really busy. I've just been sitting down on my butt editing. So, <clears throat> and when I can, I get up and have a little bit of a walk, but I can't even take Molly for walkies, eh? No, I can't do that. Can't do that, Molly. Only daddy can take you walkies. I want to tell you a little bit about my hospital experience because it was really funny. I was sharing a room with these old ladies and they could only speak Portuguese. My Portuguese is very limited. I was I'm reading Portuguese. I find it easier to read Portuguese than listen to some older ladies talk to, talk to me. But and especially when you don't know the context of the of the subject, they were switching subject from their health to um, funding and their children you know it was very hard when you don't know what they're talking about to try and catch on to the subject and they were getting really annoyed at some points they're just getting a little bit frustrated with me i was telling them you have to talk to me like i am a one-year-old 
or a two-year-old, you know. I don't know that many words, but they didn't get it. They were like over 80 years old and they just kept repeating the same words over and over again, just more frustrated every time, you know. And I'm like, but if I don't know the word, you tell it to me a hundred times, I'm still not gonna know it. So that was a little bit funny, but I really bonded with them and they really liked me, and, which was really nice. And when I came out of the hospital, um, when I came out of the operation, they were taking care of me which wasn't necessarily a good thing. At night the nurse gave me some soup and she told me you can have it, just wait till it cools down and eat it very, very slowly. And so I did, but I could barely move. I couldn't even move my head, so I was eating it really slowly. And Maria Jesus, when she saw me struggling, she wanted to help. She got a bunch of tissues and put them over my, my wound, <laughs> my surgery spot and started trying to feed me. Now she, was, she wasn't helping, she was hurting me, but she didn't realize. And I was trying to explain to her to stop, but she didn't want to. She's like, come on, you can do it. And luckily, after like four spoonfuls of me nearly choking all the time and having to strain my neck and hurt because I had to lean over, she wasn't over the bed, you know, she was making me go to her spoon, which was insane. I couldn't even move my head and I was making all this effort, but anyway. And then the nurse came in and said, stop what you're doing. She gave her a good shouting and told her I could do it by myself in my own time. And Maria Jesus just kind of left really upset, but <laughs> that's her life. She was hurting me more than anything else. But she, was, she really wanted to help, so that was really sweet. And it was a, a nice goodbye that we said to each other when I left the room. But yeah, I made some friends there. And the nurses and the doctors were amazing. I will tell you, the worst thing being in hospital, it wasn't the surgery, it wasn't being cut open, it wasn't the pain, it wasn't any of that. It was having the mask on 24 hours a day. And not even the mask all day, but sleeping with the mask. Now, I didn't even think about that before I went into the hospital. Do you know how annoying it is to sleep with something suffocating you all night? I was already having problems breathing with Neil in my, in my throat. And then I had this thing suffocating me all night, so that was terrible. And then when I was in a lot of pain the second night, I only spent two nights in hospital, and when I was in a lot of pain the second night, having that and the oxygen in my nose, that over my face, yeah, well, it wasn't good. Yes, I have to sleep with it. I was pretty suffoc I was feeling suffocated yesterday, but the nurse gave me a good sleeping pill. And I went out like a light. Considering that it was two days ago when they cut me open, it's not that bad. Yeah, so yeah, I'm back guys and I have a voice to talk to for my videos. <laughs> I'm going to take a little walk down near Luke. <laughs> Molly wants to play. She can't understand why I can't bend down. Molly. Luke has been up to a lot of stuff since I've been gone. And I've only been gone three days. Hi Pip, don't attack me, I'm not well. This is my first day out and it is amazing. The land is so beautiful. Now the flowers were out before I went into hospital. Really, it's, it's been yellow, but it's somehow even more yellow than before. There's yellow everywhere, there's white, there's purple, but it's more yellow than anything else. And it is just so beautiful. The guinea fowl, there's three guinea fowl out now and they're walking around and they're not crying to go back in because they love it outside, but they go in at night. There's one guinea fowl still in there. Three out, one in. They're so nice. Let's see the ever-growing supply of sodas that we have in our toilet. We barely have any place to sit. <laughs> my name is my Jelly. My little Susie. I miss them, these guys. Mmm, you like those flowers. Mommy's grazing with the goats. Whoop, whoop, whoop.
Hello, Molly. Hello. You want to see what I've been up to? Instead of a rope, we have a handle. Ooh. I have to still put a handle like this on this side because I forgot. Fancy. But push it down. And I also dug the ground so this can open. Oh, very good. At least till there, you know. Very, very good. Enter, please. It still looks just as I remember it. I'm not inside. <laughs> come in, come in, please. Make yourself at home. Oh, wow. So we have two sections. Now I hit my head on this like 20 million times today. <laughs> wow. So we've got two sections. Mm -hmm. And I just put the food over here. Very good. And then if you want to open this, you just put a bit of weight there. Turn it. Wow, Molly wants to check it out. And the same on the other side. Cool. And then over here, you put this one first. Oh, cool. That's what you were telling me. This goes like Very that. Very cool. And this goes oops, like that. Wow, look at and that. Like that. Work. I mean, they won't get in, but if, if I have right. another one here, though, it will make it stronger, you know, yeah. from here to there. But yeah. Awesome. So and over here in this space, the stanchion fits. So Very cool. if it's raining for a couple of days, we'll be able to, to get it in here and milk in here. Very good. Cool, eh? <laughs> so now I've got to figure out, I'm going to do a hay, feed, hay feeder in each because uh -huh. we're wasting too much hay. Let's see what he's and thinking. Then either we do it something like this. Yeah. And I do a piece of wood like that. Shahajek. Oh, that's good, no? Like that, there's gap, gap, mm -hmm. gap are pretty similar. Mm -hmm. And it takes quite a lot of space, eh? Hey? Maybe I'll find a piece of plywood and just put a piece of plywood right across. I think I have something. Alrighty, so I didn't have time to... I still haven't finished the hay feeders yet. And I have some little, a bit more work to do to fine-tune everything. Tweaking. Some tweaks. <laughs> and we'll see, so we'll see you next Sunday. Yep. Don't forget, Tuesday we come out with a short. Uh, next Tuesday might be on how to make a bushcraft vice to sharpen your chainsaw. And all I'm thinking about is chainsaws at the moment. <laughs> I'm <laughs> all I'm seeing and hearing about is chainsaws too. <laughs> Sawdust and, <laughs> and, and chainsaw. chainsaw noise. <laughs> but yeah, he's found his, definitely found his I love passion. It. I love it. It's really so. a lot of fun for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Molly, Off leave them. she goes them. to chase the chuck. Molly! Wow. <laughs> Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next Sunday. Take it easy guys. Bye, Bye. guys. I'm going to get the pussy cat. That's it from us this time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>